Fred McGuffin Reviews Garden of Evil from 1954 This has Gary Cooper as a cowboy. Always good. We have action, adventure and drama here. This is directed by Henry Hathaway. And what we have here is a trio of American adventurers are marooned in rural Mexico. And their steamboat has broke down and has to be fixed. So they're stuck there for maybe three weeks or, or longer. Depends on how good the engineer is. And they are stuck in a little port called Miguel, Porto Miguel. And they're recruited by a beautiful woman, um, Susan Hayward, who plays Leah Fuller. To rescue her husband trapped in a, a gold mine, a cave in Apache territory. So, yeah, that's the basic plot here. Um, Henry Hathaway has directed a lot of great movies. True Grit, How the West Was Won, some segments in that movie. The Sons of Katie Elder, Raid on Rommel, Nevada Smith, The Trial of Lon the Trail of Lonesome Pine, The Lonesome Pine, Kiss of Death, and The Desert Fox, and many more. So a great director here. And Gary Cooper. Yeah. High Noon. Mr. Deeds Goes to Town. For Whom the Bell Tolls. Man of the West. Distant Drums. Uh, Meet John Doe. Beau Guest. So, yeah, some classics. And he plays Hooker. And he's our hero with this. He's one of the the four guys that decide to go. Um, they're offered a lot of money to help. And um, they decide to go with uh, Leah and help her with her husband. But to get to where they need to go, it's a very treacherous terrain. It's really hard to get to. Um, so there's a bit of... Uh, Excitement trying to get there. There's some, some great uh, vistas and scenery and special effects um, as they try to get to the... And as they're getting there, they're getting to know each other. Um, Susan Hayward, who, who plays Leah, um, was also in My Foolish Heart, I'll Cry Tomorrow, I Want to Live, with a song in my heart. And... Uh, Richard Widmark, who plays Fisk, he's a gambler in this, and uh, he was also in Kiss of Death, The Alamo, Judgment at Nuremberg, Warlock, Yellow Sky, and How the West Was Won. And as they're going there, they're all getting to know each other. Um, one of the one of the characters in this is Luke Daly. One of the one of the guys on the that goes with them is Luke Daly, played by Cameron Mitchell. And he begins to fall in love with Leah. And uh, I think I think um, Fisk and Hooker do also. So there's a lot of uh, love interest there. Um, Cameron Mitchell has also been in The High Chaparral TV show, How to Marry a Millionaire, Monkey on My Back, Hollywood Cop, Deadly Prey, Raw Force, Without Warning, The Deep, and he's done a lot of 80s TV, so he's a real legend in my book. He's done a lot of, a lot of great B-movies and 80s TV. And um, yeah, so that's what we have here. We have, and we also have, um, nearly forgot, Victor Manuel Mendoza, who plays Vincent uh, Madariaga. He also goes with them. So... On the way there, they're sort of getting the inkling that um, they might have Apaches around um, the, the, the area where they, they need to get to. And once they get there, they do find um, Leah's husband, who's played by Hugh Marlowe, and he plays John Fuller. And you may have seen him in All About Eve, The Day the Earth Stood Still, Night, and the city and world wide end. So, 
yeah, we've got all these strange sort of, uh, we, we get all this jealousy, we get all this um, love triangle. We have this, the gold mine that they get to. And uh, we have Luke Daly getting greedy and wanting to take as much gold as he can. Um, we have Hooker, who seems to be the sensible one and, you know, st steady sort of character. And he wants to, you know, he just seems to be, be above all the other guys and, and their sort of uh, leanings towards wanting gold or wanting Lee's affection. And we have John Butler being jealous because he's been injured and they need to get away because the the Apaches are coming. And um, yeah, so we guess an escape from this area. They want all want to get out of there, but they want to get take gold with them. Um, for me, I didn't quite understand some of the character motivations in this um, with regards to Leah and uh, Bisk as well falls in love with Leah. So I think there's too much going on with um, too many characters and trying to understand their their motivations towards, you know, their characters and what they want and what they want from Leah. So that sort of ruins this a bit for me. But there's some great, yeah, there's some great scenes with Gary Cooper, um, with Hooker, and uh, yeah, pretty enjoyable. For the rest of the, for the end of the movie, we have this escape attempt from the area that they're in back to Porto Miguel to get to safety. And um, who will survive? Who will, uh, you know, we have the, the chase by the Apaches. And yeah, so it's entertaining, but not a classic for me. But um, I'd probably give this a, a three, a three out of five, three and a half, be a bit more generous. Um, as I said, it's well filmed, well directed, but maybe overwritten for me um, with the characters in this and too much going on, maybe. But uh, still, still worthwhile, still worth a watch. Fred McGuffin, giving you the guff on Garden of Evil. Fred McGuffin reviews Garden of Evil.